Whoa, below bro. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! The children's balloons! Oh, they're oh, they're God. carrying the children. That's, That's terrifying. That is terrifying. Speaking of terrifying things, oh, you found something? Well, I'm looking at. Uh, all I did was I searched bug meat patties on Google. Oh, yes? And I'm just looking at the headlines to give you an idea of what people are talking about. So, April 20th, 2016, foodnavigator.com said, The ultimate taste test. Insect burger, plant burger, or meat burger. Oh. We're gonna... We're gonna click on this reliable source. Oh, yes. What, what, what is the source, Jason? Who Who is coming to us with these deets? This is foodnavigator.com. They are advertising a California almonds bar. And I had to close the advertisement. <laughs> this is the internet after all, folks. They so, know what you want, Jason. That's right. The insect burger was outperformed by the meat burger during the blind test. Acceptance and overall liking increased when young adults taking part in the study, seen as the target, were told that it was 31% mealworms. Interesting. Wait a minute, it, it performed better when they were told? It performed a little better when they were told that 31% was worms. Yeah. What the fuck? So, uh... We're gonna find out. Damn it. Fucking kid. To a s the following words, the emotional reaction. God damn it, son of a bitch. Around 10% refused to eat the insect burger during the informed session, although they had already unknowingly eaten it during the blind test. <laughs> Amazing. So there's still uh, a lot of people won't eat bugs. No, oh, that's it's it's scary. Yeah, like that's that's the big part of it is a lot of people mm -hmm. are they're scared of bugs So why would they eat them right and that that's kind of the same thing for me, too? Like if you gave me something I was like here. It's it's like a burger, right? I'd be like skeptical of you, but I'd probably try it mm-hmm Right, and then if you told me afterwards it'd be, it was bugs I'd be like well that right. gives me the heebie-jeebies about depending on whether I liked it or not I'd be like that's either good or bad mm-hmm Yeah, a lot of this study were saying like Generally speaking, the meat burgers were better, but people just straight up wouldn't eat it if they knew it was a bug burger. Yep. Yep. That's pretty crazy. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, and there's- I guess there's a bug restaurant in the UK. Uh, someone's opened the first insect restaurant. There's oh, a, what? a news article from October 22nd, 2015. Oh, so this was a couple of years ago. Yep. So well, it exists. What what do they specialize in? Are you able to access their like menu? Uh, sure. Like go go right to the source. Wait to the website. That's right. We're gonna find out the name of this. Oh, the name of this bug restaurant. Grub Kitchen. Grub Kitchen. Awesome. Good job, Grub Kitchen. Oh, you ready? I'm gonna put this kid in the water. I'm not even watching you. I'm so fascinated. That's okay. You know I don't what? Even care. Welcome to the show where the, sh the co-host is even so so uninterested yeah, in the I'm show so that he cannot. Yeah, I'm so uninterested that I am literally just searching insect burgers and talking about it. Eat insects, feed the world. Grub kitchen. Here we go. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna see the food of the grub kitchen. The beautiful thing that we have these fancy little tablets that can just access information. Yeah, what a world, right? Yep. Yeah. Sunday lunch menu. All right. Fucking kid. Uh, Damn bug it. farm lamb. What? And crispy lamb breast. But lambs aren't bugs. <laughs> I question ah, the bug Wellington. This is more what I expect. Bug Wellington. <laughs> bug Wellington. Uh. Chestnuts, mixed bugs, wild mushrooms, and nut roast. With spinach and butternut squash, wrapped in cricket crepes, puff pastry, and served with a green peppercorn and brandy sauce. Oh. That doesn't sound bad, right? It, well, it's got more than bugs in it. That's right. Like, and it only... Oh, you fucked up. What? I have no idea what you're talking about. But, like, mixed bugs doesn't make it sound so bad. 
when they just say an assortment of bugs to give it a crunchy body feel, you know? What else is interesting on here? And you know what's sad about that? It's like, bugs are crunchy. Ugh. Yeah. Okay, here is an evening dining experience. Uh, sweet corn chowder with basil oil and a grasshopper crumb. <laughs> grasshopper crumb? Yep. <laughs> yep. Ah, oh, Jiminy Cricket, no! That's, <laughs> oh, that's crumb. right. <laughs> Don't swear, Pinocchio. Yeah, he became Jiminy Crumb. <laughs> Uh, smoked chipotle cricket and black bean chili. That sounds awesome. With tortillas and a sour cream bamboo worm dip. Okay, so so far we've got like chili, we've got burgers. We've, yep. Uh, it's actually uh, at least they, they, they have also desserts have as well. Desserts. Yep. What can you, what the what bug goes into a dessert? Uh, there is a caramelized apple crumble with a toasted bug and shortbread topping. Okay, so that it was one, like an apple crisp. I but love like, love apple crisp. Oh, it's so good. Oh, Jason makes a mean apple crisp. I do make a mean apple crisp. You I, haven't made an apple crisp since we moved in here, Jason. Well, we don't. Well, we do have the tray now. We do. Have, I did. Yeah! That was the whole thing. The, the whole thing was that I wanted to buy an apple crisp tray. That oh. was yeah. Now we. When did I buy that? Like two months ago or something? Right. I guess I've kind of slacked off on making the apple crisp. <laughs> but like, I it was, I remember it was being a big deal that I didn't actually own a large glass tray to make an apple crisp. Wait a minute, we have a glass tray? I think so. Wow. How I think I got it. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, maybe this didn't happen. Maybe this didn't happen. Uh, oh god. I yeah. got. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I want it to be happened now. Yeah. Not that anybody cares about what our kitchen is comprised of. Well, we're. <laughs> Let us tell you about our bachelor pad for a second. Uh, kind of like the our like our kitchen can kind of be summarized by the mentality of Patrick. I think. Oh in really? In terms of what we have. Okay. The fork for myself. <laughs> Spoon for myself. Plate for myself. You, you're kind of just starting to I sound like. I think that's it. <laughs> kind of starting to sound like Dane Cook there. Mm, I've got a fork for myself. Mm. <laughs> I, One fork. Yeah, I think that we uh, we don't have very much when it comes to dishes, but that's okay. We improvise and it's great. Yep, such is the life of. Yep. Of men such is the are, bachelor pad life. Yep. Um, but apple crisp is super easy to make. Like, if anyone's looking for a, a good dessert that they want to... If you want to get people to your house, just tell them you're making apple crisp. The one thing with apple crisp, though, is that it does take a little bit of time. Uh, because... Well, any good thing does. Yeah. Like, it, it takes a little bit of time to make it. Like, you gotta have the time to do it. Um, but it's really good. It's a really great dish. Um, and it's super easy and super cheap. Super, super cheap. Um, like, I don't know, if you already have the, the flour, the oats, um, the butter, oh god, and the, it's butter, oats, uh, la 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 la. Apples? No, no, I, I'm think <laughs> there's basically four ingredients and then there's apples, and apples oh, okay. are a separate step. It's oats, butter, Brown sugar. Brown sugar. Is mm. the one I was missing from previous. But now I'm thinking of something else. Because I forgot the one that I said at the first. Future Daddy's gonna laugh at this. Future Daddy's gonna have a ball at my short term memory loss. Well, I think that I can actually remember any amount of ingredients here. Well, I don't even know the ingredients, so I can't even help you. Yeah, right? Well, no, it's super, it's super simple. Uh, it's oats, brown sugar. Butter and flour? Butter and flour. It's fucking flour. <laughs> you, and you, you've said that already, uh, no, 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 too. I, that's what I said. I said it at oh, the okay. beginning, and then I immediately forgot what that fourth ingredient oh. was. Oh. Yeah, future Denny's going to have a laugh at that. Well, present Denny's also having a laugh at that. Uh, well, fuck you, too, <laughs> then. <laughs> yeah, it's flour. And, like, literally all you have to do is take a cup of those four ingredients um, and mix them together. But the way you mix them together takes a bit of time because you actually mix them together with a knife. Oh, what? Uh, and instead of a whisk or anything, and you cut the butter into the crumble. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, so it, so instead of it just becoming a mush of liquid by mixing it with a spoon, you cut into it to create kind of chunks. Mm. You create butter chunks. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. You know, as unhealthy as that is, like, I'm sure a lot of people are like, mmm, chunks of butter. Oh, well, it's <laughs> not even that unhealthy, really, like, considering the amount. Like, that being said, it uses, like, half a stick of butter, like a, a, a cup of butter. Yeah. Right? So it's, it is a lot of butter to make the whole thing. But considering as far as desserts go, it's not super unhealthy. It's sugary, but it's like, it's not that bad for you. It's mostly apples. Because <laughs> after those four ingredients, you just cut up a shit ton of apples and layer them, right? My And my personal favorite is Macintosh. Macintosh is what does it for me. Ah, uh, you know, I, I growing up, I was a, a golden, golden delicious kind of man. Yeah, like when I'm eating apples, I like Royal Galas. They're nice. They're a bit crunchier. But, like, it's, you pretty much just have to go Macintosh, in my opinion, with Apple Crumble. You can, like, I tried it with Granny Apples once, but it was just, it was a mess. You it, know, yeah, I suppose with, like, with Crumbles in this particular example, like, you do want to go with a particular, a particular yeah Apple goes specifically for yeah, it. Yeah, and I mean, like, people have their opinions, right? You can do it in all sorts of ways. Wrong opinions, but yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. The Macintosh <laughs> apple is softer and it bakes better. No, nah, dude. The problem is, at least the ones that I find in Ontario, the Macintoshes are pretty small. Uh, so they, like, I find that you have to cut a lot more of them because you have to skin them and then put them into slices because you don't want to bake the skins in, right? Right. So... Yeah, you put a cup of all the ingredients, you knife that for an hour, and then you skin the apples and place little slices across the tray, and you bake it for an hour. And it's beautiful. Basically, it's so good. All right, to, to kind of put a cap on the end of this episode here, would you eat food made out of bugs? Leave we a comment below. What type of apple do you like? Leave yeah. a comment below. And we're gonna, we're gonna, we'll keep having conversations with bugs if you keep talking about it with us. We want to know what your favorite bug is and why, and whether you would eat it or not. Well, because I'd like to. I'd like to try eating it. Yeah, we probably won't respond until like mm, a couple of weeks later, just because of how we do these sessions. Well, it's our recording schedule. But, but, but yeah, blah, if, blah, 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 blah. if you comment, yeah, we we would love. Yeah. I was going to say intercourse, but I mean, um, <laughs> we, we would love to have a... We, we would love to have social discourse. Discourse, that's the that's word. That's right. Uh, you can call me later about the intercourse. But hey, we'll see you guys next time on Below Pro. Next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.